Welcome to the spoken tutorial on tokens in C and C++. In this tutorial we will learn how to define and use tokens. We will do this with the help of an example. We will also see some common errors and their solutions. To record this tutorial I am using Ubuntu operating system version 11.10 GCC and G++ compiler version 4.6.1 Let us start with an introduction. Token is a generic word for data types, variables, constants and identifiers. Let us start with our program. I have already typed the code on the editor. Let me open it. Note that our file name is tokens.c. In this program we will initialize the variables and print their values. Let me explain the code now. This is our header file. This is our main function. Here int is a keyword. The compiler knows the meaning of keywords. a is an integer variable. We have assigned a value of 2 to it. This is called as initialization. If a value is not assigned to a variable, then it is called as declaration of the variable. Here, b is a constant. We have initialized b by assigning a value of 4 to it. const keyword is used to create read only variable. Let us switch back to our slides to know more about keywords and constant. Keywords have fixed meanings that cannot be changed. Keywords cannot be used as variable names. There are 32 keywords in C. To name some auto, break, case, care, enum, extern, etc. Constants. Constants are fixed values. They do not change during the execution of program. There are two types of constants. Numeric constants and character constants. Now come back to our program. Here float is a data type of variable C. We have assigned it a value of 1.5. Data type is a finite set of values along with a set of rules. Here D is a variable. Care and single quotes suggest that we are dealing with a character. As a result D is a character variable storing the value A. It is easy to see that int, double, float and care are data types. a, c and d are variables. Now come back to our slides. We will know more about data types and variables. Data types. Let us begin with integer data type. It is declared as int. If we want to print an integer data type, we will use %d as the format specifier. Similarly, we will use float and %f for floating point numbers. For character data type, we will use care and %c. And for double data type, we will use double and %lf as the format specifier. Now we will see the range of data types. Integer data type has a range of this. Floating point has a range of this. Character has a range of this. And double has a range of this. The value stored in the variable must not be greater or less than this range. Now we will move on to variables. 
variable is a data name it may be used to store a data value the values can change when a program runs before using a variable it must be declared we should try to give meaningful names to variables example john marks sum etc now we will move back to our program here printf is the identifier name for this function come back to our slides let us know about identifiers identifiers are user defined names an identifier consists of letters and digits both upper case and lower case letters are permitted first character must be an alphabet or underscore now come back to our program here we have initialized the variables and constant here we print them and this is our return statement now click on save let us execute the program please open the terminal window by pressing control alt and t keys simultaneously on your keyboard to compile type gcc space tokens dot c space hyphen o space t o k press enter to execute type dot slash t o k the output is displayed we can see that here we have six values after the decimal point and here we have two values now let us find out how this happened come back to our program this is because we have percent point 2f here it denotes that we can print only two values after the decimal point suppose here i want an output with three decimal places let us replace percent point 2f with percent point 3f now click on save come back to our terminal compile as before execute as before we see here three values after the decimal point now we will execute the same program in c++ come back to our program i will change a few things here first press shift control and s keys simultaneously on your keyboard now save the file with an extension .cpp and click on save let us change the header file as io stream now include the using statement and click on save now replace the printf statement with the cout statement since we use cout function to print a line in c++ click on search for and replace text option type here printf opening bracket and here in this column type cout and two opening angle brackets now click on replace all and click on close we don't need the format specifier and backslash n let us delete them now delete the comma and type two opening angle brackets click on save now delete the closing brackets type two opening angle brackets again and within the double quotes type backslash n now click on save let us execute the program come back to our terminal to compile type g++ space tokens dot cpp space hyphen o space tok1 here we have tok1 because we don't want to overwrite the output parameter tok for the file tokens dot c now press enter to execute type dot slash tok1 press enter the output is displayed 
Now let us move on to some common errors which we can come across. Come back to our program. Suppose here I will reassign a new value to B as 8. Now click on save. Let us see what happens. Come back to our terminal. Let me clear the prompt. Now compile as before. We see an error at line number 7 in our tokens.cpp file. Assignment of read only variable b. Come back to our program. This is because b is a constant. Constants are fixed values. They do not change during the execution of program. Hence it is giving an error. Let us fix the error. Delete this. Click on save. Let us execute again. Come back to our terminal. Compile as before. Execute as before. Yes, it is working. Now we will see another common error. Switch back to our program. Suppose here I will miss the single quotes. Click on save. Let us execute. Come back to our terminal. Compile as before. We see an error at line number 9 in our tokens.cpp file. A was not declared in this scope. Come back to our program. This is because anything within single quotes is considered as a character value. And here we have declared D as a character variable. Let us fix the error. Type single quotes at line number 9 here. Now click on save. Let us execute. Come back to our terminal. Now compile as before. Execute as before. Yes, it is working. Now switch back to our slides. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we learned data types, example int, double, float, etc. Variables, Example int a is equal to 2, identifiers, example printf and constant, example double const b is equal to 4. As an assignment, write a program to calculate the simple interest, hint principal into rate into time upon 100. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini Patel from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.